Any monkey business is ill-advised. Any questions? Words can sting and words can scar, but right now we're only concerned with the latter. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable movie insults. For this list, we're focusing on the cinematic slurs that we've never been able to forget. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. Insults are all manner of things, but to make this list, they have to be memorable. But not too funny, because we've also got a list of the top 10 funniest movie insults. You are a smelly pirate hooker. And not too rude, because we've also got a list of the top 10 obscene movie insults. What's your name? <laughs> you! That's my name! <laughs> well, that's just it. See, I... I don't feel that I made a mistake. Number 10, nothing, swimming with sharks. I would appreciate it if you didn't yell at me in front of the entire office. Excuse me, what? To kick things off is some abuse that's brilliantly built up and expertly laid down. Oh, you disapprove. Kevin Spacey's buddy could have stopped at any moment, but rather than lessen the blow, he opts for foul mouth and free flow. What did I tell you the first day? Your thoughts are nothing. No one likes to be reminded that they're nothing, but this is beyond even that. Who do you think you are, you snot-faced little punk? When your boss cares more for his own human waste than he does for you, then something has gone seriously, seriously wrong. You are nothing! If you were in my toilet bowl, I wouldn't bother flushing it. My bath mat means more to me than you. You see this? This means more to the office than you. And yet, do you hear any complaints when I do this? These pencils more important. These pens more important. These paper clips more important. You miserable little crybaby. What are you going as for Halloween? I'm not going to stupid Halloween. Number nine, penis breath, E.T. the extraterrestrial. It's not that we don't believe you, honey. Well, it was real, I swear. Friction during family time can often lead to insult gold. And around the table at Elliot's house, it's 24 karat barbs all the way. No one will believe in aliens, and our hero is angry. Maybe you just probably imagined it. I couldn't have imagined it. What better way to silence critics than to scream the rudest words you know? Maybe it was a pervert or deformed kid or something. A deformed kid. A young Drew Barrymore is the gobsmacked baby sister, but this scene belongs to Elliot, the young, tough-talking man of the house. Maybe uh, an elf or a leprechaun. It was nothing like that, penis breath. Elliot, <laughs> sit down. Oh, oh, come here. Let me go say hello. Number eight, Shinebox, Goodfellas. Are you, you, watch this suit. Like, watch this suit. Watch this suit, Jesus you little Christ. frick. You. Hey, I know you're my life. He didn't mean to offend him. I'm going to break in your balls a little bit, that's all. Yeah, right. Billy Bats is in supreme control here, and he wants everyone to know the score. I used to call him Spit Shine Tommy. <laughs> I swear to God, oh, he make your shoes look like f***ing mirrors. Tommy is lower than him. He's the errand boy, the gopher, and he always will be. His arrogance, though, is misplaced, since Bats will pay for this jibe with his life. I'm sorry, I don't mean right. to offend you. I'm sorry, too. it's okay, no problem. Okay, salut. But with his last moments, he mocked his way into our memories. I'll go home and get your f***ing shine box. Mother f***ing mother, you, you, you f***ing piece of shit. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on. Number seven, Bill Lebowski. Jerk off, the big Lebowski. Lebowski is drunk, delirious, and about to be degraded beyond reasonable measure. Say he ran away. The chief of Malibu police is proud of his beach community. Now we got a nice, quiet little beach community here, and I aim to keep it nice and quiet. But he isn't proud of this inhabitant. He doesn't like the name, the face, the behavior, and he especially hates the jerk-off nature. I don't like your jerk-off name. I don't like your jerk-off face, I don't like your jerk-off behavior, and I don't like you, jerk-off. The speech in itself is well worthy of this list, but the coffee cup to the head that follows is just priceless. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Stay out of Malibu, Lebowski! Ah! Number six, Toy Taunts, Toy Story. An insult so memorable, we even know the exact tone of its delivery without even thinking. According to my Nava computer, the- Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! Tom Hanks and Tim Allen do not hit it off as this cowboy spaceman duo. And that rivalry is summarized in this snappy speech. I'm lost, Andy is gone. They're gonna move from their house in two days and it's all your fault! Mike, 
My fault. Buzz is all-conquering, intergalactic, and slightly insane. Woody is unassuming, old school, and slightly outdated. Sheriff, this is no time to panic. For Woody, this is the perfect time to panic. For Buzz, it's the perfect time for pity. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. Yeah. Don't look so bad to me. <laughs> and he looks strong enough to pull ears off a of Gundar. Number five, Nerf Herder, Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. A young Han Solo is quite the handful. He's cheeky and charming, but arrogant at times. But you didn't see us alone in the South Passage. She expressed her true feelings for me. This scene is one of those such times, but Leia deals with it in marvelous fashion. One who herds nerfs is one without brains, in Star Wars speak, and Harrison Ford's bemused expression is perfectly timed. Why, you stuck-up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder! That he should be most hurt by scruffy-looking is further testament to his lovably enlarged ego. Who's scruffy-looking? Wherever they need us, our destinies lead us, amigos, we're always together. Number four, this is your lucky day, three amigos. It's fourth on our list, but three is the magic number here. Steve Martin leads his gang of make-do Mexicans into battle with a tirade of abuse. Who are these monkeys? I don't know. Woo! You kill them? And this memorable insult leaves its subjects as confused as we are. You sons of a motherless goat! A motherless goat? What even is that? An answer to that question? It's a universal racial slur. But for the moment, and the movie, it's the third component of a three-part insult that's impossible to misremember. You slime-eating dogs, you scum-sucking pigs, you sons of a motherless goat. Son of a motherless goat? Number three, poultry problems, Back to the Future Part Two. Marty! You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Marty McFly can cope with mad scientists, he's okay with time travel, and he can even deal with kissing his mom. But if you call him chicken, you had better watch out. What's wrong, McFly? Chicken? This insult is as memorable for the reaction as it is for the delivery. What did you call me, Griff? Chicken! McFly! Nobody calls me... Chicken. It's used everywhere, every day, at least by us. And that's largely thanks to this movie. Your father's biggest problem, Marlene, is that he loses all self-control when someone calls him chicken. How many times have we heard it, George? Mom, I can't, can't let, let him, him think, think I'm, I'm chicken. chicken. Mm. You're right. The DeLorean takes us back to the future, and this insult takes us back to basics. Are you chicken? That's it, isn't it? Sometimes you gotta minimize to maximize. Nobody calls me chicken. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. Number two, drills and discipline, full metal jacket. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, yes, sir. This partly scripted, mostly improvised inspection of the troops is minutes upon minutes of pure cinematic splendor. Here you are all equally worthless. And my orders are to weed out all non-hackers who do not pack the gear to serve in my beloved car. No one is safe with R. Lee Ermey pacing the line as the military man with a razor-sharp tongue. What have we got here? A comedian, private joker. Ermey had been a real-life drill sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps, so his put-downs are his own inventions, conceived during a life of battle. You had best un yourself or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck! And the reaction to them is quite genuine. Taunting doesn't come truer than this. How tall are you, Private? Sir, five foot nine, sir! Five foot nine, I didn't know they stacked shit that high. Before we let our top pick loose, here are a few honorable mentions. I'll explain, and I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. Look up idiot in the dictionary, you know what you'll find? A picture of me? No, the definition of the word idiot, which you f***ing are. And by the way, there's a name for you ladies, but it isn't used in high society, outside of a kennel. 
You clinking, clanking, clattering collection of collisionous junk! Oh. This guy raps like his parents jerked him. He sounds like Eric Sermon, the generic version. Number one, epic rap battle, Eight Mile. He can't get with me spitting this shit, wickedly licking these shots, the spooky spooky split licking these. He had one shot, one opportunity, and he absolutely nailed it. Eminem as B Rabbit is the straight talking trailer trash new kid on the block, and he will not be ignored. Yeah, they call me Rabbit. This is a turtle race. His opponents give good, but Shady gives better. Spitting and slurring as if his life depended on it, he attacks from every angle and lands every punch. This whole crowd looks suspicious. It's all dudes in here, except for these bitches. It's improvised, it's inspirational, and it's unforgettable. He doesn't choke, and he's our champion. My motto, motto, I'll get the seven digits from your mother for a dollar tomorrow. Do you agree with our list? Laugh it up, fuzzball. Whose terrific taunts have we missed? It looks like you have menstrual cramps. For more hard-to-forget top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You look like an old map. You know what? You're not as popular as you think you are. I'm very popular. Oh, I'm sure you are. Thank <music> you.